Hi, this is Andy Scott with North Shore Apartments and Condos. We're walking into 811 Foster, number three. As we come through the door, if we turn to our right, we see a bedroom. There's a second bedroom, a bath, and a shower. As we come in immediately, we see an entry closet that's about four feet wide with a hanging bar and shelf. It has its own lighting fixture. Not quite two feet deep, but an excellent entry closet. The entry is a slate floor, which is really good. You don't get it dirty. And if we go to our left, we get a look at the kitchen and the living room. Ceramic tiles in the uh, kitchen really a big very sophisticated very um, complete kitchen and there you see lots of cabinets full-size stove microwave twin stainless steel sink uh, air conditioner built-in air conditioner you can't see it behind the island but there is uh, a dishwasher and that is a very large refrigerator now before we explore the kitchen more completely at the entry to the kitchen is in unit laundry so that is super nice to have obviously the apartment is occupied so some is going to be cleaner than others uh, the kitchen gets the most use I think the island may be the tenants I'm not hundred percent sure if we start with this big cabinet space here this can be used as a uh, pantry it's that big there's like uh, eight seven or eight shelves going from the floor to the ceiling the shelves are about a foot and a half deep uh, really lots of storage here try to close this i don't want this to be too long the counter there's a lot of counter space that's for one thing the countertop is a laminate rather than a rock but it's very good looking it's very attractive and looks like a rock uh, there are drawers going around the kitchen, so that's nice to have. And the lower cabinets are quite deep, so you can put pots and pans and small appliances like a Keurig or a George Foreman grill, something like that, can all be stored there. Full-size stove and oven. Like I said, it's obviously a, an occupied apartment, but it's still very clean and something we would clean before you move in. There are lots of uh, outlets around the uh, kitchen, so you'll have plenty of uh, options for the stuff you use. The microwave, nice and clean. Cabinets, these are like three foot cabinets. Shelves are about 11 inches deep, and there are four of them. And you have a couple of these. And off the second shelf, is this nice, uh, or rather cabinet, are these nice shelves, which I think are really cool. Another outlet, more cabinet space, newer windows, new windows, facing north in the kitchen, beautiful water pressure, and you have a little sprayer, and the hose attachment, so that, that's all to the good. You also have a soap dispenser, a lazy susan kind of cabinet which is nice um, more counter space the built-in air conditioner and that will cool this part of the apartment but wouldn't cool like the bedrooms per se full-size dishwasher ready to be used more drawers and cabinets and the uh, fridge is probably six feet high so it's a big fridge freezer on top shelves to the left whoops daisy there we go fridge nice crisper drawers and shelves with more shelves and a butter dish to the left so that's the uh that is the kitchen, and it's really a nice, sophisticated kitchen. I'm going to walk back a little bit just to give you another view of it. It's quite a bit bigger than most kitchens. It's a significant room. So from the kitchen, 
we'll go past this closet. This is the HVAC, which really is just HV. You just have central heat here. You also have your electric panel in there. But from the kitchen, you go to the living room, and the living room is a nice sized room. This, I believe, is facing east. Oh, maybe this is north, too. But a nice big room. You can see all the furniture in here. Hardwood floors, good light, new windows. And as I walk in towards, uh, we're looking out onto Foster. So we're facing north on an east-west street. Um, I'm going to turn back. We get a look at our first bedroom. I'm going to turn back. And you see there's room for a dining table and then all kinds of area for sitting or however you want to set it up. Lots of room for furniture. And then we go into our first bedroom. Now, because this is a, a flat, the bedrooms are a little bit different. So here we've got like a six by maybe eight, six by nine space. Windows are facing sort of northwest. Um, big enough, this is a full-size bed and it fits quite comfortably with a little night table, some room at the end. But you also have this other space for more furniture or a workstation. So in total, it's quite a big bedroom and pretty well laid out, really. And then you have this nice closet which is probably six feet long. And this is two feet deep, so it's a nice big closet. And you see the shelf and the hanging bar. So from the closet, it looks like this. It's a cool bedroom. So this is the first bedroom. Come out through the living room. We go back through really a huge kitchen. So we see the kitchen again. And before we exit the kitchen, we have the smallest bedroom, which is still a nice bedroom. Um, this one doesn't show so well, but they've got, this again is a full-size bed. Lots of space, so it's much longer. This is probably 12 feet long. And around the corner, again, unusual space. We have a little workstation area. I think these windows would be facing west. I'm not going to go back into the workstation, but if I turn around from the corner, we see a nice big closet, the same size as the other closet, about six feet wide by about two feet deep with the shelf and the hanging bar. And uh, actually for a smaller bedroom, this is a big bedroom. So, one last look. So we back out, turn around, take another look at the kitchen real quick. Walk past the laundry. The laundry is behind there. Past the front door in the entry closet. And if we turn to our right, we have the commode. It's a slate floor. Nice fixture. Lighting above. There's also a fan to help keep it clean. Um, good water pressure again. Super good water pressure. That's just the hot water. Drains beautifully. Underneath you have nice dry storage. If we exit from the powder room, which I'll sort of back out just to show you one more time what it looks like. There's a shelf in the corner, nice tank toilet. <clears throat> but as we exit, if we go straight across, we have another full bath. You see the commode there, ceramic tiles. Uh, I should turn on the light here, there we go. Commode there, ceramic tiles. Nice sink some storage under the sink, medicine cabinet, really nicely tiled 
shower area. And I know the water pressure is good. And we're just doing hot water, so I'm not fooling around trying to get some extra water pressure in there. Whoops, a daisy. More storage underneath. Drawers, which are super helpful. The bath is nice and clean. Let's see, it's been a while since I've been here. There we go. And we've got terrific water pressure again all the way to hot. Terrific water pressure draining nicely. And again, we understand that everything is occupied right now and will be clean uh, as needed when we come back or before you move in. Oops. There we go. Okay, so I'm going to walk out of the bath show you once again it's actually a nice big space oh, what I do here hit the button sorry about that nice tiles in the bath and shower good water pressure half bath there and we'll go into the last bedroom which is really a big bedroom uh, so we have to the right, we have part of the room, which is being used as a workstation. You have the closet space there. That door leads to a deck. And then we have the sleeping area over here. They've got an AC in the window and another big walk-in closet. So it's really a large room. You see the walk-in closet's quite big. I believe the dresser stays. Again, a shelf in front. And if we turn around, this is probably 16 or 18 feet across. So it's a huge room, another closet, ceiling fan, beautiful hardwood floors. Nice. This, uh, again, is a full size bed. Plenty of room for that. Probably get a queen in there easily. Another big closet. This is quite deep. This is probably three or four feet deep at its deepest spot. So really a lot of space there. And then really past this workstation here, there's even more space in the back and a window, um, which is really cool. I'm just going to open the back door. So uh, looks like we have to repair the screen, but you've got this nice deck out here. And there is parking available for sure. In fact, I think the rent includes parking. So, lock that up. Again, you have this workstation with a space in the back that's hard to see. And we swing around, it's just a huge bedroom. Um, I'm gonna walk out of the bedroom and we have the full bath to our right from the bedroom, the powder room to the left, and that brings us back to the front door. Thanks for watching.